Hello there, welcome to my views and news. PMRB of Ethiopia is going to arm the military with the modern weapons, no matter what happens, no matter what the economic cost is. We have received exclusive information which we want to share with you. PMRB's government has purchased some modern weapon systems for the military. From which country were these purchases made? How costly are these systems? How were these systems delivered? All the details for you in this video. Uh, it shouldn't be a surprise, by the way, that the province of Ethiopia is buying modern weapons for the military because uh, this is what his official position is. If you have been following his speeches, his messages, his tweets, he's been saying openly that uh, uh, Ethiopia would uh, upgrade, enhance the military capabilities of its forces. And we saw that uh, it started uh, during the Tigray War that Ethiopia started buying modern weapons. Though before that as well, but uh, mainly during Tigray war, Ethiopian government realized the need for modern weapons. And we saw then dozens of flights uh, between Turkey and Ethiopia, uh, Iran and Ethiopia, uh, UE and Ethiopia. The flights were carrying uh, weapons, drones. And these drones then uh, proved to be game changers in the war against Tigray. After that, there was uh, a little lull in uh, these flight operations. But if you remember, last month I reported that around 30 flights had been tracked between the UE and Arar Mada Air Force Base which is used by Ethiopian Air Force uh, in the Oromia region. What were these flights carrying? I raised questions back then. Now it seems that we have found answers. Uh, and after that, by the way, we got uh, information about the purchase of Akinji drones too. That Ethiopia purchased Akinji drones from Turkey. And the reports uh, have been made public by Turkish news sources, which are close to Turkish military. They say that Ethiopia and some other countries have bought uh, Turkey's most modern drone, and that is Akinji. But not just Akinji. Ethiopia, Ethiopian government uh, wants to arm the military no matter what the economic cost is. The flights which were tracked in uh, November uh, were carrying PGM, Precision Guided Munitions. Pictures have been leaked of the containers which were uh, carrying these PGM. When the containers were offloaded, on an airport in Ethiopia, someone captured images. Images were sent to an expert and the expert has compiled a complete report. He contacted me as well to stay in touch. And uh, he's uh, very confident. He says that uh, these containers were carrying PGM made in the UAE, United Arab Emirates. What are PGM? What do they do? Uh, which UAE group is manufacturing these PGM? Well, PGMs are basically kits which uh, convert ordinary unguided bombs into precision munitions. Most of Ethiopian bombers don't have precision stacking capability. Ethiopian drones have this capability. TB2s can strike targets very precisely, a Kinji as well, but Ethiopian uh, Russian planes don't have this capability. So Ethiopia wants to give this capability to its jets and bombers. So these kits which Ethiopia has purchased from the UAE will co convert ordinary uh, air munitions which are used by jets, bombers into 
precision guided munitions it means that ethiopian uh, aircrafts will be able to carry out very precise air strikes on targets in ethiopia obviously because there is no uh, external war ongoing between ethiopia and neighboring country right now those strikes are being conducted mainly in the amhara region i think those strikes could start in the romia as well in coming days uh, so uh, the name of this pgm system is altarik altarik guided bomb system is manufactured by a ue based group name of this group is the edge edge group owns uh, this technology which converts uh, unguided bombs into guided bombs the expert which has shared pictures from an airport in Addis Ababa is not disclosing his sources no one does by the way but he has confirmed that these weapon systems were manufactured in october this year so it means pictures are not old date of manufacturing can be seen written on the containers uh, manufactured in october delivered to ethiopian government in november 33 flights so you can imagine what ethiopia is doing what ethiopian government is doing in terms of arming the military why is ethiopia making so much cooperation why is it in a hurry to arm its military while uh, an economic crisis is getting uh, deeper for for ethiopia oh, just after just after after around 48 hours ethiopia will have to make some payments of 33 million us dollars and ethiopia not in a position minister of uh, economy minister of finance amr shade yesterday said that Ethiopia did not have foreign exchange reserves to uh, pay back uh, to pay the interest on euro bond. So, on the one hand, if you pay is not able to pay interest on euro bond, if your lease is withdrawn from Ethiopia, Ethiopia's credit uh, ratings are being downgraded. On the other hand, if you pay in a hurry. to arm um, its military with modern weapons why reason is very simple either there is an internal uh, conflict which ethiopia wants to put an end to uh, rapidly or there is an external threat which ethiopia or there is an external adventure which ethiopia wants to uh, pursue so far uh, ethiopian drones uh, and maybe jets are being used in the amhara region against fano fighters maybe if you open government or wants to quickly finish the uh, operation against fano by conducting large scale uh, air strikes on fano fighters by the way air campaign against fano has intensified i had several videos uh, more than a week ago sharing details of new don strikes being conducted Now it seems that not just drone strikes. Now Ethiopian bombers uh, will have the precision stacking capability as well. Both Akinji TB uh, twos, wing longs, and Ethiopian jets all will be hitting targets on the ground against Pano fighters in the Amhara region. And secondly, you'll see. that we could see targeted attacks on ola if you open government will not launch any large scale ground operation against ola but it would mainly rely on air strikes that is why a force is being armed if you opia has realized if you open government has realized that the ground operations are not effective the counter productive limited operations can be conducted but to, uh, protracted uh, ground operation in amhara and romia will not produce uh, durable peace that is why i think military has decided to use its air force drones uh, all types of drones jets bombers precision strikes on fano and ola as well in coming days secondly again i would say ethiopian efforts 
uh, to acquire new weapons. And Ethiopia has acquired new weapons, will lead to an arms race between Ethiopia and Eritrea. I don't think Eritrea would sit silent. Eritrea watching the developments very closely. It does not want Ethiopia to be uh, so big a threat that uh, Eritrea cannot handle, especially keeping in view recent statements by the Prime Minister of Ethiopia when he tried to prove that Ethiopia had natural rights to an accident of the sea. I think Isasar Volki will also try to get as many modern weapons for his forces as he can afford. But it's difficult to get information from Eritrea. What is Eritrea purchasing? What is Eritrea in talks about? Let's see what happens. So I think uh, arm with Ethiopia and Eritrea on the card. Secondly, all these weapon purchases are mainly uh, aimed at putting an end to the conflicts in Amhara and Romeo, not through dialogue, but through precision strikes on Fano and maybe on Ola.